はい皆さんこんにちはワンダリングルイシですえでは今回は「人生サポリス164日目」12月25日、クリスマス当日のプレーをしていきたいと思います。ロジャーズ首相、死刑に対し不信感を表す、まあそれはそうですよね。前回、クリスマスイブは、市民にも警官にも死傷者出しましたからね。地下水流出でフリーバーグに洪水の危機、警察が怒る大気軍人に武力を誇示。まあ確かにね、武力で鎮圧しましたからね。これはね、ちょっと嫌な流れになってきてるんですが、とはいえ、しっかりやっていかないといけない。おっと、早速、尋問会からだな。えー、ボイド所長、障害を持った対局時をどう思いますか深い尊敬の念を持っている。俺は平和主義者だ。嫌悪感を感じる。まあ、ここは深い尊敬の念を持っています。なぜ障害を持つ大気軍事のテーマに警官を送り込んだんですかとえ仕事だからだ、騒音に対する苦情が来たから、市民の命に危険が及んだからだ、仕事だからですよ。障害者たちが市民に危害を与えると思ったのですが、違う。そうだ。さあな。えー、っとね、違うんですよ。別にそんな風には思わなかった。えー、義士の購入をやめるという市の決断を支持しますかうん、支持する。なんとも言えない。あれは間違いだった。まあ、ここはなんとも言えないよな。自分がコメントをするような話ではないですよ。でも、無理やりちゃん鎮圧させるよう命令を出しましたか市のせいだ。これはロジャーズからのメールを提示しましょう。何？武装した人たちが主にしかも大勢来ている。マジかどうなるんだ。I didn't catch that. Say again. まさか。Excuse me, Mr. Boyd. It seems I accidentally found your secretary. Ah, they You're no Bobby Flash. I am aware of that. No, no, no. I, I mean it as a compliment. You, you want to clean up all the crime in Freeburg, right? Or so I dreamed, once upon a time. Do you know why you failed, Mr. Boyd? Do you know why Bobby Flash always wins? Because when you're surrounded by cartoon criminals, the only way to win is to become a cartoon cop. <laughs> you're no cartoon, Mr. Boyd. You suffer too much. You have too many doubts, too much fear, too much internal conflict. Maybe that's why the people of this city forgive all your mistakes. Because you seem like a real human being. If Bobby Flash made a mistake, we'd never forgive him. From Bobby Flash, we want cold, calculated perfection. And this is why I've decided that I don't mind if you keep your job. What, have you abandoned your insane plan to storm the city hall? You think it insane? To solve all my problems in a single stroke? Assuming, of course, that we're properly prepared. Yeah, let's say we do burn city hall to the ground and kill Rogers. What next? You simply walk into the smoke filled room and take a seat in his smoldering chair? <laughs> no, Mr. Boyd. I've been preparing for a year for what happens next. I'll give the prosecutor's office an impressive folder with compromising evidence against Rogers. Information about how he suppressed his political adversaries, finally lost his mind, and plotted to rain blood on the streets of Freeburg. Of course, Troy Starr, faithful City Hall employee that he is, will easily confirm all this. At the same time, my dear Jordan will finally decide to break her silence and tell everyone how that fool Rogers threatened her, forced her to kill all the victims of his sexual violence to ensure their unpleasant stories would never come to light. Of course, everyone will understand that we didn't have time for formal complaints. The night before Mayor Rogers' private security detail would plunge the city into chaos, Our valiant police chief Jack Boyd made the difficult decision to arrest the mayor of Freeburg. 
Unfortunately, Rogers descended into delusion and engaged in a shootout with the police, which ended in his death. We'll have to call an early election to replace the mayor, and of course, it won't be too difficult to win the election fairly. And then? You know, Mr. Boyd, most of the facts that I collected in Rogers' file are quite true. Anyone who reads through the mountain of evidence would have no doubt that this man was the most vile person in the world. Murderer? A rapist? Thief? Racist? Sexist? Uh, are you a sexist, Mr. Boyd? I'm sorry? Are you a sexist, Mr. Boyd? Or perhaps racist? I try not to be. That's it. I as well. I as well. Although I have long been known under a revolutionary pseudonym, I myself am no revolutionary. I believe in evolution. I am convinced that a city which offers such broad support for racist gangs, a, a city where people cheer as feminist protests are suppressed, a city which for decades has tolerated corrupt officials, I, I say this city has no interest in a mayor who unconditionally stands for freedom, equality, and the rule of law. Not yet. But perhaps they are ready for a mayor who tries to stand for freedom, equality, and the rule of law. At least when the situation allows it. That's why you're so popular, Mr. Boyd. The city is ready for people like you and me. For people who are ready to make compromises. I'm counting on you, Mr. Boyd. And, uh, when will they be ready? I beg your pardon? You said that the city isn't ready for a mayor who stands for freedom, equality, and the rule of law. When will they be ready? Who decides when they're ready? I'll decide. さあ、決断の時が来ましたね。ロジャーズを支持するか、チャーフィーを支持するか。まあ、ここはね、本当に悩むところだけど、まあ、チャーフィーを支持しよう。ロジャーズには散々やられてきましたからね。はい、というわけで重大な決断をしましたが、えー、164日目、クリスマスの日終わりましたので、えー、っと、次回はね、この続き。165日目プレイをしていきたいなというふうに思いますはいというわけで、えー、最後までご視聴ありがとうございましたぜひチャンネルの登録あとはですねツイッターの方で動画の収録状況とあとは配信状況、まあ、その他もろもろ情報を発信しておりますので、えー、興味のある方はぜひツイッターの方もフォローしていただければあ嬉しいなというふうに思います